yes, I understand you didn't want a bunch of answers and comments and so on and so forth. But this is a subject that's very dear to my heart, and, and it's very, uh, you, you mentioned how uh, your husband, you, you said offhandedly, I mean, you know, like it's not important how your husband mentioned his child abuse and such, and you thought that's going too far, and it's, it's really not. I mean, if you think about it for a second, like you already have, I can see you have because you've made the correct decision. I have four brothers who are circumcised, and every one of them has problems. I'm whole, uncircumcised. I don't have any problems, none whatsoever. And the, the, the other point that you were saying about how it's, uh, it's not your choice, it's not a, a, up to you, it's not in your business what your child or your, your son does with his penis. You're absolutely correct. It's not your business. You're right about that. I mean, don't feel bad about that. Your husband, though, no, he's absolutely correct. It is that important. It truly is child abuse. It truly is pedophilia. I mean, because if you think about it, who in their right mind would, just because they want to have a covenant with some delusional superhero they decide that to do that they should cut off a piece of their baby boy's penis now me I I'm an atheist so it's easy for me to see how nobody can think that way unless they're a pedophile in the first place because I'm not going to let them have the excuse that but God gave us that as a covenant to you know, he was going to have Abraham kill his son. and told him, no, don't do that. I was only kidding. Just cut off a piece of his penis. I'll be happy with that. That's fine. That's not how it went. You really know that, okay? You see how you grew up in a, you know, your husband grew up in an Orthodox Jewish background. I feel so sorry for that guy. <laughs> he must be getting a real, a real ration from his family. And here we have uh, intelligent people. And the rabbi himself, who actually performs the bris, how polite. And, uh, and think about it, they actually lick off the first blood that comes out of the circumcision. If it's done correctly in the correct procedure, why would somebody do That's called blood sacrifice. Yeah, I know. So you did the right thing. There is absolutely no medical reason to amputate a piece of someone's prepuce. Not, un, you know, not unless it's already, there's already something going on, of course, medically. But meanwhile, you're, you're, doing, you're making the right decision. Congratulations. And uh, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm a grandpa. I like seeing kids born to healthy, free-thinking, intelligent individuals. You're gonna make good parents. You know, please don't drag your kid into some delusional cult where some old guy on a in a dais or up in a you know altar or whatever threatens them with hell and damnation if they don't do what they're told or whatever. Don't do that to your kid. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's fifth of July. Happy birthday, America. <laughs>